Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to this first impressions video of Broken Robots, a very fast-paced, arcade-style um, arena shooter based around having robots, killing other robots, and protecting your generator with all kinds of shenanigans happening if you happen to lose enough health and go into malfunction mode. So this isn't normally this kind of game which I really cover or play myself, however recently I noted a distinct lack of just arcade silliness in my um, game library and thought I'd pick this up as it is only five, um, five British pounds, I think it was anyway. I could be wrong there, I'll put the actual numbers in the description below and of course a link to the Steam page. So to explain what this game is, I've played two very quick single player games. I would really say this is definitely a game which multiplayer would be a lot better. Getting a few friends together and playing this would be a lot of fun. So tutorial. Welcome to the Broken Bot tutorial. I mean, I, I should voice this. This guide will briefly explain the core mechanics of the game. This is you! This is your bot. It is equipped with a unique weapon, two skills and four passives, all which you can unlock as you rank up, and you rank up by simply playing the game. I'm currently rank two. I, I unlock something new on rank three. You can edit your setup anytime by pressing T, although I didn't let you actually in this tutorial. This is the fun thing. You see, this is what I think actually made it stand out to some other games, because honestly, uh, this kind of thing has been done a million times, and let's face it, there's a good few Flash games which do the kind of uh, robot arena style. But this made it a lot fun. Also, it just kind of looks nicely polished. Now, I'm sure people disagree with me, and I'm sure people have their favourite kind of um, arena shooter, but this is quickly becoming one of mine. Well, at least I've been enjoying it anyway, and that's the important thing. I found it cheap, I wanted to play it. Hurrah for me. Also, adjusting the mic there, so you might have heard a noise. When taking damage or getting hit by an EMP, your bot will ma malfunction. This can result in a positive or negative effect on your bot. Most likely negative, however, some of the positives are amazing, such as your regular machine gun becoming a shotgun blast, or simply shooting five times faster than usual. It's kind of ma amazing. Each team has a generator. You can charge it up by picking up blue energy orbs, like these, around the map. The charge is represented by the blue blocks on the generator or at the top of your hood. I didn't know what this was in my first match, which was a bit weird. The higher your generator charge, the less chance you'll have to, to malfunction. And finally, when you charge your generator, energy is transferred from the energy generator to yours. When a generator reaches zero, either by picking up energy orbs or shooting at it, a massive EMP will erupt from it. This EMP will cause the entire team to malfunction at once. I'm going to give you a push to victory. You are now ready for battle, so a quick match will put you into... Oh dear. Didn't realise a quick match would actually put me straight into a battle. So this is against real people, I think. Yep. Okay, so it's... I'm sorry about that, I didn't mean to do that, I didn't really want to play that. So a quick match will put you into a server, I do believe. A custom game will allow you to play online or offline. I'm actually not too sure about that. Again, I will put that in the description if that is online or not. So if I did go to play online, you can choose things like um, Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, King of the Hill, Crazy, and, and you're basically just put into two groups and fought against each other. You can play offline in various modes, such as tournaments, random, Crazy King, and all that good stuff. You can invite friends and join together, which I guess, again, is kind of the big thing for me. So, I am yet to play Capture the Flag, so let's play Capture the Flag. There we are, there's all the bots and everything fighting on. So if you press your robot, you can choose between different ones, which do need different ranks. So I'm going to go ahead with the quick one, because I actually want the faster but more frail one. Uh, you can see the arm value increases and decreases. There's all sorts of reason for it, including fire rate. This one can shoot a lot faster than the others. Actually, let's go with that. Let's go with higher fire rate. You can then choose skills. Again, you unlock as you level, such as shields, EMPs and stuff. We have the shockwave. Does it actually, does it actually do damage? Not sure, okay. And then you have passives again, which you can unlock as you level. Okay, let's go! Daka 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 daka. So some robots have um have certain things, and it is um it is absolute controls, meaning down is always down, left is always left. It's not based on your robot. Okay, I just wanted to restart there purely because I didn't um completely indicate some of the things, such as the um as you see, rank 3, rank 4, every rank you get something different. You get that by just killing things and um, basically doing stuff in the match. So we're going to start again. I do apologise about that. So, let's go! We are the Daka Daka Kings, okay? The starting now, and... 
go! Okay, the real match starts now. Now, I don't think friendly fire is a thing, so there's our flag, and the enemy flag is over there, as indicated by the hood. We can see the stuff over there. I don't, I don't think we have a generator in this mode, by the looks of it. Oh, did not notice you down there. Hello, sir. Okay, we've got him to malfunction. You can tell it's malfunctioning by the electrical kind of um, effect. Oh, I'm now malfunctioning. Aiming system is going absolutely terrible, so let's use our side yeah, ability, which is the right mouse button to um, heal ourselves up. You're our ally, I don't know why I'm shooting at you there. As you can tell, I'm probably terrible at this. There we are, there's an enemy there, enemy there to get him. We shoot faster, our DPS is higher, but we have our arm and stuff. Oh. Speed limiter, as you can see now, we Your move faster than I do. Enemy flag. There we go, just healed up, our health's in the bottom. Uh, the bottom right. Our overload is how we um, become malfunctioned, and the other one is basically our health. I'm quite damaged right now. Did I get our flag? They do. Um, can someone please get our flag back? I'm going to stay here and hope that our team grabs the flag. Your oh, flag yes, there we go. Fantastic. Now, I believe it uses the basic Your rules of capture the, the flag, flag where you can't capture Your unless the enemy. The enemy there you go, unless yours is still safe in your base. Oh, my lord. Oh, he's oh, he's malfunctioning for extra speed. Just like I was earlier. So with the rapid shot with this one, the one negative is it shoots so fast you actually lose almost all momentum. I hope, hopefully that was an enemy. I'm sorry, I just knocked out. There we go. Someone killed the himself. The enemy team has your flag. The enemy team has our flag. So matches do last last a while. Um, this one's going to be eight minutes long, so let's just kill him. The enemy flag was returned to its go base. And get you as well. Uh, the other robots have different kinds of weapons. One of the big weapons I do really want to play around with is the flamethrower, which is also affected by the type of bot you use. Damn it. Sorry, which isn't affected by the bot you use, because obviously it's that type of bot which can have it there. The Dista DX and Dista DR, the rocket launcher or flamethrower. Both which seem rather cool. Flamethrowers have more health, because obviously you have to get so darn close to the enemy. Now this will make me self-destruct, because I had to just swap out. There we go. Like I say, this isn't normally the type of game I cover on this channel, so I'm not really sure what to say sometimes of this. Oh, come on. Nope, nope. Oh, wait, no. We've already got our flag. Oh, we should really go and get that back. Let's just try and rush through the enemy. Oh, gun angle incorrect. We're shooting to the sides. Okay, let's heal up. Oh, did that flag it back? Didn't even know. Oh, my lord, loads them. Okay. On the upside, shooting that way doesn't mean I can move back a lot faster, as the recoil is terrible. There we are. Oh. And it's Your mine. team has the enemy flag. Excellent. I haven't got ours, though. Oh, he's malfunctioning, which means he's extremely low on health, and we get the kill. Now I do believe the enemies have, of course, they do have the side effects, the um, the different weapons and the different um, side weapons, like I've got the shockwave. Oh, oh, he has our flag! No, I thought he was on our team! Oh, that was bad. Let's heal up. Playing around with this uh, here. There we go, excellent, we killed Loki. Once again, we wait. So what I'll do is I'll probably just um, pop off here and go into a online match and see how that actually is. Let's have a bit of an experience of that too. Hello, sir. Oh wow, you got a shotgun apparently. Oh no, you're malfunctioning with the shotgun um, effect. Oh bad, 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 bad. This is where the shockwave is good against flamethrowers. You can knock them back a little bit. It's so much armor. Okay, well it's malfunctioning to go too slowly. Ah, we killed them both. We are on remarkably low health, but we do have our heal ability left. Come on, get the flag back, guys. I managed to help them out here. Which is a terrible idea since I do have the flag ally. Your flag oh. was returned ah. to its base. None of them are coming for us. No? Excellent. There we go. Your team captured the enemy flag. 2 0. I only have five minutes left. The enemy team has your flag. Oh, of course, you can go down here as well. Excellent. I was, I was wondering, was that? Oh, a blue orb. So we do have the reactor, perhaps. Oh, yeah, these dots are the reactors. For some reason, I thought they were the. Um, my bad. I thought they were the score markers. So down here is that. So if we get two more, we can cause them all to malfunction at once. Which is rather awesome, it must be said. I'm hitting someone, yep, I can hear little dinks which indicate I'm actually doing damage. Loki again, apparently I'm focusing on Loki here. Thor and... Wait, I've only just realised they're all named like that. Haha, <laughs> I didn't even think. 
Oh dear. Two of them right there. Oh, got one to malfunction. Not quite sure what's wrong with him, but oh, okay, healed up. Your team malfunction has avoided by generator. Well done, generator. Go away. Oh, oh, I killed him. Why did he just use his um, shockwave against me when I'm the longer range of the two? I think I think I think the bot I'm using currently is, is my favourite type of bot, just being able to um, put out so much fire. Okay, well I'm, I should be focused on the flag when st Oh, I was going to go up there. Sadly, wasn't paying attention to Loki. Damn it, Loki, you trickster. Go away. He has the flag I want. Ooh. Heal up. Okay, I got one, and he has the shield as well. Excellent. Oh! Dropped our flag. Someone pick it up quickly. We're going to have a point. So I am now rank three. So excellent. So, so the next time I play the game, or change my bot the because I need to um, has your flag. kill myself to do that, I will get a bonus point. Has this respawned down here? No, it hasn't. And there's an enemy. Or has it? Oh, it has. So now, if we look on the top, there is only one power left in their generator. Oh, react. Oh, excellent. I'm faster. Let's let's use this to its full capacity the and then heal up. Is that to its base. Yay! The enemy team captured Do they all just malfunction flag. at once, or do we have to get your one more has the enemy flag. Uh, has the enemy more. team has your flag. How did I take I didn't, I didn't even start taking damage. Well, apparently I'm going inverted, but I need to go this way anyway, because I want to try and defend. Yeah. Yep, you're the guy with the flag. Do extra armor and stuff. Yeah, we killed him, but the flag's still there. And your return. Flag was returned return to its, to its base. base. Protects him. I'm actually getting quite into this now. Oh no, you little flaming bugger. Malfunction avoided because our generator is on max. That's a quite high chance of actually happening. Always getting a lot of damage in on our guy. I think, I think he was malfunctioning going backwards there. And I was killed. The enemy team has your flag. The enemy flag was returned okay, to its Okay, let's finish off this one way. Hello. Your team has the enemy flag. Excellent. Your flag was returned to its base. The enemy let's see if one of those blue orbs are down here. Oh, oops, went the wrong way. Oh well. I kind of want to grab the flag though now, because I did manage to get a point earlier. No, I was doing damage to someone, I heard the ding. I'll be taking Your you. Your team has the enemy flag. Let's go down the top route. Oop, hello. Excellent. Goodbye, Loki. I'll see what I've unlocked after I've um, captured the flag. Why wasn't I doing it anyway? Because that, yeah, because that makes me faster. Because of, because of the recoil. Or at least it makes me feel faster, so that's Your good enough. Okay, so the enemy flag. I've got a new ability, I've got the EMP. Ooh, yeah, let's be more aggressive. Okay. I've got a lot, a lot, ooh, and two times speed rather than regen. Okay, so faster Your regen and faster speed. And now I have the EMP blast as opposed to the knockback effect. Boom! Wait, no, wait, what? Oh, it's that button. Yeah, okay, it's the right click, not the mouse button. Okay. Oh, I could have heal and. Oh, that'd actually, that'd be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's, let's go with heal. And um, EMP instead, so I've got those two. I forgot they're both the same um, the same skill tree. Oh, he's, he's got the shotgun malfunction. Boom! Malfunctioning, yes! Oh, did I actually get him as well? I can't get allies, can I? I'll have to test that out later. I think that's just by damage and just a coincidence. Excuse me. Ooh, lots of flame throws going on. The enemy team has your flag! Okay, let's EMP. Got you both. And let's heal ourselves yeah. up as well. Having the EMP is rather nice. Sudden malfunctions. Kind of cool. Oh, you at the flag. No, 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 no. Die, 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 die. Ah, oh, worst one to be affected. My my, my aim was off. And the, the seagulls are angry outside. To its base. The enemy, the enemy team has your flag. Oh no, they're different. The enemy team that. has your flag. Okay, great. Just let me get there first. Your flag was returned to its oh, base. Oh, so close. There we are. Got one of them. With the EMP. 
Let's see if we can take this guy out. There we go. He's been defeated. Let's go and try and get the flag. Oh, oh, that. Oh, the sentry gun. Oh, it's finished. That was cool. Victory. That was very cool. Okay, then let's quickly jump into a custom game, play online. Let's do a team death match. It's just kill the other one, basically. So this is online now. Let's hope I pressed online. Don't think you can actually talk to your teammates. Oh, you can. Apparently you can. Let's go with the same one as before, with the faster. Yeah, let's go with the maximum fire rate guy. All the rest are the same. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's prettier. Ow. The match hasn't commenced yet, so I don't, I don't think you can actually hurt each other yet, no. Okay, so this will be versus other players. At least I think so. Unless I just pressed them. Um... No, the names don't seem right, honestly. Whoa, that was a bit of insanity there in the middle. Try and stay back and oh, 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 we're doing a lot of damage, but oh, just about killed him. Someone called Saiga got destroyed. Oh, wow, camping there. My movement's inverted. That's really difficult to get used to. Oh, whoa, 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 where, 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 where? Wow, malfunctions everywhere. Got another guy there. Damn, that's fast. I wish we'd scrolled out as well. That would have been a lot easier. I'm going to focus here on not just sort of dying. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I've got one to malfunction. Okay. I have a feeling like none of these are actually real people. Maybe they are, I've just got remarkably... No, the names, though. It can't be real people. Plus how their bots handle everything. It doesn't seem right. Perhaps an online game just lets people come in. Perhaps you do actually need your friends. I thought there was a server, basically, where you match mates. Let's just quickly return to main menu. So, if you press join a game... I think it's all the same. Hmm. So I'm not sure about this. So we're learning together. This is a first impressions. Don't leave me behind, please. I want to shoot other people and can't hurt them, but still. I need to see their names. Nope. Did not even think you could actually hurt each other there. Whoops, that did not learn from before, apparently. Nope, same people again. So apparently, yeah, that's odd. So, custom game, connection to the custom region EU, play online, random, let's see. Okay, so after a little bit of playing around, it turns out I was in an online match, and how this game works is that if there are not enough people to fill your game, it will start filling them with AI. At the moment, since this game is a fairly new release, and not exactly one that's overly popular, but apparently rather popular in the offline mode, which is quite surprising, there simply hasn't been any interest. Well, there's simply no one online currently. I've tried both the EU and the US version. So that it will be my major criticism for this. Currently, the community is far too small to actually get a full um, group on both sides. And actually, in this one, there's none. Because I've just um, swapped between a few of the um, regions. Yep, none at all. So, uh, maybe wait until it gets more popular, or if you're really interested in, in multiplayer, or get some friends together, buy it, and have fun together. Flag. Although I do believe that um, other players would make this game a hell of a lot more challenging, because even a bad person like me actually managed to get um, top place in that last match. So that's really enemy. that. So as you go on, if as you're going to join game or an online game, you'll be automatically placed with other players in your region. I'm currently on the U.S. region. Uh, you can go between U.S., Asia, Japan. Uh, well, actually, lots of best. Well, well apparently, best breaks fraps because <laughs> it caused the um, the game to unwindow with fraps still running. So that was a very curious thing. But yes, you can um, 
you can swap between regions, see if you can find someone with the game, and um, just, well, go ahead and play that way. So, that's really that. I hope um, I've shed some light on the game for you, and, uh, well, I, I, will I will almost definitely not be playing this as a series on my channel. I just wanted to kind of cover it because it looked very curious to me. I do love games like this, and I'm still looking for that perfect one for me in kind of a very casual way. I'm not really into the... Um, the more competitive versions of this, but I do kind of want a more casual kind of arena shooter. Uh, a lot of games have came close, like an awesome noughts to me, but this didn't, qu yeah, didn't quite get it there for me. But um, yeah, I hope I've um, made your decision a bit clearer if you are if you are thinking about purchasing a game like this. It is indeed four pounds ninety nine or six dollars ninety nine, I believe. So all your regional equivalent. I'm not 100% sure on the dollars, but that's definitely the pounds. So it will be in the in the description below, along with a Steam link. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the uh, video, and of course likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly shows that um, first impressions are something you wish to see more of in the future. There will be a link also in the description to my playlist for other first impressions. So thank you and goodbye.